Welcome to this video. This video is literally just a walkthrough of the menus that are on the Nikon Z50. Hopefully, if you're here, it's because you want to see what new little features are in there. Have a look through menus first. Hope you enjoy it. There's nothing else to this video apart from that. If you want to see a review, we'll put a link up here, hopefully, or down there. Um, and look forward to seeing you soon. So let's go through the menus and have a quick look. Obviously play, yeah, it's pretty standard to be fair. Nothing in there, which is different. The one thing it's got actually is rating. Um, I do tend to, on playback, if we take a picture, um, I've got that button set up there so that I can quickly rate it uh, and put it into the metadata. Um, just something I've done um, and remap the buttons. I find that extremely useful being able to drop that in. Shoot menu, storage folders is file name. I always rename those differently. Um, so I've got TL5 there, got TL8 for the 850, etc. Um, etc. Et um, and we change over image area, DX 1.1, 16.9. I leave it on the DX, it's the uh, biggest area. Image quality, raw and fine, because I will shoot raw. Image size large, 14 bit. ISO sensitivity, I don't have it on auto anyway. Um, I always have it on manual, so it's not really much use to me. Uh, white balance, I actually like the auto too. It's a bit more warmer. Um, and that's new into this camera. I haven't had it before. Different ones onto there. Uh, and then presets, which is fine. Uh, picture control. Shoot profiles. And then you've got your extra ones that they've dropped in, which is creative ones, which are quite nice. And that's one I've added, um, which I've got on the other Nikons as well, a uh, flat profile. Don't use it for photography, uh, use video, but on this, it doesn't work very well uh, for video. And I think that's because it's 8 bit and it just pushes it too much and distorts the picture. The flat profile is the one that I use normally. Um, this is where you can load those picture controls, um, any extra ones you want to put in. Color space, I've got it on Adobe because I prefer Adobe's color gamma, it's wider. Um, active D lighting's on because it's for photographs and I just want some nice ones as I'm taking it. Long exposure, noise reduction, on. Vignette control, normal, diffraction, put that on. Flickering, yeah, but I'm not too worried about it to be fair. Uh, metering, at the moment it's on matrix for overall. Um, we switch it to spot depending on what setting it's on, onto there. Flash control, not worried, don't really use flash with it. Uh, and if I did, it'd be manually set anyway. Release mode, I've got that on there, single frame, continuous, continuous high, extended and self timer. And this is where you used to have an option on the top, uh, on the other Nikons to switch over what shooting mode. Now it's done in camera. And we can access that very quickly by pressing the I button to there and selecting the shooting mode. Oh, silent, sorry. Come back to those. And selecting the uh, shooting mode that we want. They're all there. Back into menu. Focus mode, auto switch, continuous, etc. Focus area. Now, you leave those two on for face detection, which is why I leave it on, because that's where I'm using it most of the time, to be fair. Um, optical VR. Great, so it's got that on. We've got it on normal, could have it on sport. Fantastic. Auto bracketing, I haven't got that on at the moment. Um, you can just drop it on yourself if you want. Multiple exposures, you want to take a couple of shots and merge them together. HDR, interval timer, great. Um, and then we've got time lapse movie. So the difference between those two is that's just going to shoot you a load of still pictures, and that one's going to create a movie out of it at the end. Silent photography, so you can do silent photography as well. Sometimes that's worthwhile doing. Again, a lot of these are accessible from the I button, and we'll go through those in a bit. Movie shooting, again, file naming. Frame rate, at the moment it's set to uh, 120 frames, slow-mo. Movie type, MP4 or MAV. ISO sensitivity, again, I don't use that. I set it, I don't want it changing. White balance, set picture control. And on this, to be fair, tend to use flat, um, so I can color grade it afterwards. 
Um, active delight and cycle of sound, fraction, flicker reduction, metering, release mode. Um, that's for, um, you can actually take up to 40 pictures, I believe, while it's doing the um, video, which is quite nice. Focus mode, optical VR on, and you've got electronic VR when it's not doing slow-mo. Uh, if we take that out of slow-mo, those options will come on. So if we go and drop that up to 4K, and this is 4K uh, full frame as well, which is lovely. So now we've got electronic VR on as well uh, for extra stability, which is fantastic. Uh, microphone sensitivity, it's on auto there at the moment. Um, superb, but that's not where we're actually uh, using it when I've got it in, I've set it. So if I'm using it with the Rhodes uh, Wireless Go, I've set that to four because that's just what's worked. Um, oops. Attenuator, we've got that off at the moment because we don't need to worry about that. Frequency response on wide, because I'm not worried about that. I could put it on vocal when I'm doing the stuff, but I'm always using a separate um, mic anyway, generally. Menus. For customs, much the same as all the other Nikons, to be fair. I'll just quickly flick through some of these. If there's any of these that you're interested in, you want to know a bit more information, just let me know the number or something down in the comments and uh, we can talk about it down there, really. But if I just run through them all, you might see something you like and you want to know more about. Okay, and then settings, HDMI. As before, output resolutions and range. Location data uh, display, not got that on. Um, I don't know if that's for an accessory that they've got into it or whether or when it's connected on the smartphone. That's one thing about Nikons, their software's <laughs> Airplane mode, just so you turn it off so you're not using your battery. Um, connect the smart device, yeah. Remote, separate remote that they do. Um, Slight empty, so you can't record if you haven't got the memory card in. And then retouch menu, much the same as other stuff. I've never used that to be fair. And then a separate menu for shortcuts, which is what I've put into there. Okay, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that run through of the menus. and uh, give you some insight as to what's on the camera and new features. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up, really appreciate it. Like and subscribe for see future stuff that we do. We look forward to seeing you soon.